yoga instructor for Texas A&M Central Texas, and we're still working on relaxing because the end of the semester is right around the corner, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, projects and papers that are about to be due. So let's go ahead and take our mind off of that with some more relaxing yoga, hopefully. Um, now, if we ever get to a place where you feel overwhelmed or concerned about uh, posture or how you feel in it, um, never hesitate to message me. Um, I always link my information at the end of the video. Um, definitely let me know if you have any questions or concerns. And then otherwise, just know that you can take a break whenever you want. And uh, if this video is too easy for you, there's definitely more challenging ones later on. Uh, other, there are other videos on our channel as well that you can totally look up. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Mindfulness. Let's build up the body nice and tall, root the feet in, rock the body weight forward, rock the body weight back, soften the knees, build up the spine, open up the heart space. <sighs> Great breath in the body, full inhale. Complete exhale. Okay, when you're ready, let's inhale, sweep the hands nice and tall, lengthen the body, reaching to the sky, then maybe take a back bend. Find our neutral spine and exhale, dive all the way down. <clears throat> Rise up for our half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's go ahead and take a walking step back with our left foot and rise up. Low and easy, we'll keep a bend in the front knee, safe over the ankle. Sweep the hands tall. Short stance, warrior one. And exhale, fold to the ground. Step forward, neutral forward fold. Drop the head heavy, rise up, half lift. Exhale, release. Okay, let's take the right foot back a walking step, slowly rise. Short stance, warrior one, hands to the sky. Awesome, let's exhale, forward fold. Step forward, neutral, forward fold. Rise up for our half lift. Exhale, release. Okay, let's climb all the way into mountain. Roll the shoulders back. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. Let's do this flow two more times. Inhale, reach tall. Maybe a back bend. Find our neutral spine. Dive all the way down. Rise up, half lift. Exhale, release. Left foot back. Warrior one, short stance. Take a breath. Exhale, release. Forward fold, half lift. Exhale, right heel comes back, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, release, step forward, half lift. Okay, and this time we'll rise all the way up. Relax the shoulders, shake it out a little bit. One more flow here. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Okay, find our neutral spine, release all the way down, rise up, half lift, exhale, left heel comes back, short stance, warrior one, great breath, exhale, release, step forward, half lift, release, right heel comes back, warrior one, short stance, all right, when you're ready, forward fold. Step forward, half lift, release. And this time, let's make our way to downward facing dog. So hands come forward, feet come back, hips to the sky, heart to the knees. All right, let's try our chaturanga. Let's swing the heart forward to the wrists. Let's slow lower to the ground. Okay, let's lift the heart just a little bit, baby cobra. All right, now we're gonna focus on how we feel here. So keep breathing and stay in that cobra. Focus on how we feel. Strong back muscle and release. All right, let's see if we can practice our half bow pose again today, which we did a while ago. So let's take our right arm and cross in front of the body here in our baby cobra kind of shape. Now, the right elbow is going to line up right underneath our right shoulder, right hand underneath the left shoulder. And we've got the heart already peeled up, but now we have support, okay? 
So let's bend to the left knee, point the left toe to the sky, sweep the left hand back, and let's see if we can catch a pant leg, a sock, maybe we can catch the foot today, or maybe we're just gonna keep practicing that reach. Okay, whatever works best for you. We've got our half bow ready. So point the toe to the sky. When you inhale, kick into the hand. Lift the chest with that shoulder, that forearm in front of us. Kick into the hand and breathe. Supported half bow. One more breath. All right, gently release the heart, the hand, the foot. Walk both elbows out before you and rest the forehead into the hand. Opportunity here to bend the knees and sway side to side with those heels in the air. Or just to lie out long and still. <sighs> Whatever works best for you. All right, let's come back to our neutral place. Let's see if we can try that on our left side. So we'll walk the right hand beneath the right shoulder for now. Left elbow is going to weave the left way up underneath the left shoulder. Left palm crosses in front of the body underneath the right shoulder. Okay, we've already got the heart lifted with that support. We're going to point the right toe to the sky, bend the knee, bring it in. Maybe reach back with the right hand. We might catch a pant leg, a sock, or the foot today. We might just be practicing that reach. Either way, okay. When you're ready for supported bow, we're going to inhale, kick into the hand, lift the heart with that arm for support, big breath. Keep on breathing. All right, when you're ready, gently release. Slowly walk those elbows out before you, drop the heart, drop the head. Opportunity to roll the knees or just remain still. No rush and no hurry here, okay? <sighs> All right. When you're ready, let's release the legs way out long. Let's find our way to tabletop. So walk the hands up beneath the shoulders, rise to neutral, neutral spine that is. Wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Let's rock the body a little bit forward. A little bit back as we breathe. Okay, I know the abdominals are feeling a little bit interesting right now. So let's find neutral and then let's try cat and cow. Let's inhale, drop the belly heavy, breathe. Exhale, sweep the belly up. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Keep on going. You've got this. All right, let's go ahead and come back into our nice neutral spine. Let's sit back on the heels. So if we have a knee or an ankle injury recently, you do not have to come back here. You can stay in that tabletop posture and just wait for a moment or hold down into child's pose. But we wanna come back, if we can, to rest the body weight on top of the heels. I'm stretching out the top of the feet, build up the spine, sweep the hands nice and tall. And then exhale, sweep the hands way behind the back, lace the fingers behind the midline of the body, and then push the knuckles to the space behind us. Big breath, big chest opener. Okay. Now we can try to change uh, or adapt our range of motion here. We can inhale to reach the pinkies to the sky and exhale to just rest the arms. Okay, we don't have to go far here. This is gonna be very challenging for very many of us. Okay, release the arms heavy to our side. Let's walk forward into our tabletop and also bring ourselves up to downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under, hips come up and back, heart towards the knees, big breath in the body. <sighs> okay. When you're ready, let's walk the feet up towards our hands for a forward fold. Rise up for our half lift. Exhale to release, okay? Let's go ahead and try to sit down into a froggy squat here. So we're gonna set the feet wider than hip width, not all the way to the edge of the mat, just outside of the hips. 
point the toes to the top corners of the mat, but leave the heels closer together. So we kind of have like a, a duck foot stance, okay? And then we're gonna slowly bring the hips down and we're gonna try and sit back and down with the hips, low and easy. Some of us will need to stay in almost uh, parallel to the ground place. Some of us will be, be able to bring the hips down to the calf muscles. Not all of us will be comfortable here with flat feet on the ground. Some of us will wanna bring the heels up, okay? And it just depends on how you feel today. Okay, it depends on where you're at. If you need flat heels, lifted heels, if you need to stay kind of lifted off of the ground, that's okay too. It's meant to be uncomfortable, so bear with me in our froggy squat. Anchor the elbows to the insides of the knees. Bring the palms flat together before our heart space. And look up to the sky as if you're pushing your chin forward and up. Breathe with me here, froggy squat. Okay, one more breath. We're gonna plant the hands to the ground, slowly bring the hips back up to the sky for that forward fold. Feet are hip distance apart again, toes facing straight forward. Rise up for our half lift. Exhale to release, and let's come down into a seat on the mat. Whew. Okay, so we're going to kick the heels way out long in front of us. Knees can be soft or strong, toes to the sky. Build up the spine, push the heart forward, and walk the hands out to any place that feels right for you. Now remember, we're trying to keep the spine tall. We're not trying to yank and pull. Okay. When you are ready, let's build up to a tall spine and let's recline on the mat. Low and easy. All right, we're gonna lengthen the spine, releasing the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's go ahead and put a bend in the right knee. Okay, we're gonna keep the left leg long and stretch the hands way out wide into like a letter T. Or if we don't have as much space, we can bend the elbows at 90 degrees, kind of like goal posts. All right, so let's take a great twist here. Left leg is long, strong in the ground. We're gonna push into the mat with the right foot and stack the right hip over the left and then point the right knee to our left side of the room, okay? You can stay here with just the knee pointing that way or you could kick the right leg long across the body. Either way, we've got a great twist but the heart stays neutral to the sky. Great breath in the body. You've got this. Big inhale, big exhale. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead and come back to neutral. Bend the knee, plant the foot to the ground. Level the hips, level the shoulders, and let's exchange the leg. So the right leg is going to go out long. We're going to bend in the left knee, and same thing as the last time. We're going to push into the mat with the left foot, Stack the left hip over the right best as we can. Point the left knee towards our side of the room, our right side of the room that is. And then option to kick out the leg. I'm next to a wall, so I'm not going far. Um, you could kick out the leg or you could keep the knee bent. The hard part is keeping the shoulders level to the ground, keeping the heart squared on that ceiling above. Big breath in the body. Lots of trouble with hips here. Bear with me. All right, great recline twist. Okay, let's go ahead and come back into our neutral place, bending the knee, standing that knee to the sky. Let's scoop both knees up over the chest, wrap the arms strong around the legs, and rock and roll. We can rock in like a side to side motion, some people like to rock up and down the spine. Some people can go in sort of a circular motion. Whatever suits you best here. We're massaging that low back space, okay? Let's go ahead and try our happy baby pose here. So happy baby is like knees to chest posture, but instead of pointing the knees straight to the heart at the midline of the body, 
We're going to point each knee to its side of the body shoulder. So the left knee points to the left shoulder, right knee points to the right shoulder. And that way the feet come out to about hip distance apart, knees to about shoulder width apart. We're going to stretch the arms to the sky, anchor the elbows inside of the knees, just like our froggy squat, okay? Just like our froggy squat. And then we're going to try and lace our fingers around the edge of the blade of our foot. If we cannot reach that far comfortably, we can uh, set the palms to the outsides of the knees here, okay? Uh, whatever suits you best. We've got our happy baby pose. We'll try to flatten the feet straight to the sky. We'll try to line up the ankles just above the knees so the shin bones are parallel. And if you are comfortable here, rock a little bit side to side. I want to challenge you that if you feel like your shoulders are coming way up off of the mat in order to get to the feet, relax the shoulders down and just hold on to the knees, okay? We can still flatten the feet, we can still line up the shin bones, and we can still rock and roll without having to push ourselves too far or too, um, too far beyond our comfort level. I want to be a little bit uncomfortable here. Um, but I'm not trying to make anybody suffer. So we decide what works best for our body in happy baby pose. And finally, let's settle into neutral, release the soles of the feet flat to the ground, knees to the sky. We're gonna relax the palms way out wide beside us, or maybe one palm over the belly and one over the heart or both, you know, Whatever works best, relax the shoulders down away from the ear. <sighs> relax the face. We're moving into final relaxation here. So let go of tension around the eyes, around the jaw, and just breathe. And again, the purpose of our meditation, of our mindfulness at the end of our practice is not to stop the mind from wandering. It is to allow space for the mind to not judge itself. So if we find our thoughts wandering, we will just let them continue to wander. We will not judge good or bad, healthy, unhealthy, we're not going to label emotions. We're just going to let everything go. Let go of control. And if thoughts are too distracting, also, focus on scanning the body. And we can imagine ourselves lying in this comfortable space that we've created for ourselves. And we can take a quick inventory from head to toe. Wash our awareness across the body from head to toe, just noticing. Noticing something that feels different, maybe. Stronger, tired, stretchier. But also noticing things that feel the same. In our strength, in our confidence, in our breath. We use this opportunity to scan the body. Notice what we notice. And with our next breath, we will honor the body 
for all of the work that it has put in for us in school and work in social life the body drives us through every day just as God said completing one thing and then another With our next breath, we'll also honor um, our inner mindfulness, our conscience, our uh, inner guide that drives all of those motivators, that uh, addresses all of the emotions, that rationalizes when we feel out of place, that inner voice, that conscience, whatever you would like to call it, that inner light that guides us. And when you feel ready to begin to move again, we can start small first, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, wiggle the ankles, the wrists. Maybe rock the body a little bit side to side if that's comforting. Maybe begin to stretch and reach if you need it. Roll if you'd like, but we'll find our favorite side of the body eventually and we'll build ourselves up into any seated posture that we like. And once we get to that seated place, we'll root the hips down, we'll stack the spine up, roll the shoulders back. All right. And with just a few more breaths, we will again, in a more wakeful place, honor the body for all of the work that it puts in day to day. And we'll also honor the intention, the mindfulness, the light within that guides us um, to make decisions, to resolve problems. And it's at this place at the end of our practice today that I'd like to thank you for choosing to share your time and your practice with me here. And again, it is the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you. Namaste.